This is a variable flow, positive displacement oil or fuel pump. It's primed. Wow. This thing really gets it. Okay, I have to show you the flow rate. Right? That'd be kind of ridiculous to... Jeez. That's a pretty good spray. Okay, so this device has a bypass valve set up on it. And what that allows us to do is to maintain the pump up to power, but yet control the flow rate coming out of this hose. Because we may have a very specific metered flow rate that we're going for, but the pump pumps too much fuel. And if you just reduce the voltage, you can burn the pump up or you may get erratic distribution. So let's um, go ahead and turn this on. In this case, we're just gonna do about six volts. That seems like a fairly enormous flow right there. So the way you set the bypass valve is we're going to start off, we're going to open the bypass valve all the way. Or quite a bit for that matter. It doesn't got to come out all the way. We're then going to close the flow valve. Now all the fuel is looping through the pump, back out this T and back down through the bypass valve. We're going to close the bypass valve until we get to a pressure of 20 PSI on the gauge. You want to kind of go slow into it. You don't want to lock it up. Okay, we're starting to get a little gauge action there. Okay, right there is 20 PSI on the gauge. You can set the pressure all the way up to like 40. As you can hear, that's a little hard on the pump. So there we are at about 20 PSI. So now we have no fuel flowing. So what we're gonna do now, now that we know we got some back pressure, we're gonna open this valve a little bit until it goes down to about 10 PSI. And we now have produced a very specific metered flow of fuel or waste oil. That's what we look like with 10 PSI of pressure relief from the bypass system. We'll likely be using far less than this, but from here, we can now adjust the potentiometer of the motor also. Now we're at 20 PSI back pressure in the loop. So the pressure this gauge is sensing is everything behind this needle valve. This here is a different pressure. It's basically almost zero right now. So that's what we look like there. You don't want to turn it down too much. I'll turn it up all the way. There it is at 12 volts. So what that means is, is we could supply this flow rate at about 40 PSI if we had some type of back pressure due to a long hose or cold oil. So we have two forms of control. We can use a potentiometer it's best to keep the motor running slow for low power applications. And if we like the flow rate that we had, we can tune it down even more. That's almost, that's completely off right there. So I'll open this a little bit. Just gonna barely tap it. It's now at about 25 PSI. You can see there, it's a very specific flow rate. This is probably the power setting we might run on the steam gun at some times. And from here, we could use this to simply turn it up or down. It didn't look like it did much, did it? can also control the flow here by opening or closing this. A reduction in pressure represents an increase in flow rate in this case. So the goal is to not burn the motor up and still eject the perfect amount of oil or fuel. And a spring-loaded 
bypass valve would suffice for certain pressure ranges, but some processes are very touchy with pressure.